right, praise God. Praise God. So we got Michelle Hopkins going to be joining us. She's going to be touching on one thing about Michelle Hopkins. She studies nonstop. This is Rev. Michelle Hopkins. Nonstop data. And uh, we admire her for that. So we want to enter into new realms. What can you really do against this monstrous system? Who can make war with that beast, this system, this Antichrist formation? And you see Elisha, not Elijah, Elisha. Uh, he also was being sought out as a man of God to be slayed, to be killed. He was on, they were hunting him. And he knew through spiritual eyes that he had many more around him for protection. As I, so that's for somebody out there tonight. That God wants you to know that he has many more around you for protection. And many more around you than them of the world. So you might see the greatest army in the world, but God's got a bigger army. He's got 10,000 by 10,000 angels and chariots of fire to surround his people. Now, I'm saying this to say this. Elisha was directed spiritually through word of knowledge on maneuvers, meaning that he maneuvered away from situations through spiritual revelation. Well, we got uh, Michelle Hopkins on. Michelle, you there? Yes, I am. And one of your giftings, Michelle, is that you have the gift of uh, a prophetic uh, a, a, almost like a prophetic understanding uh, of things, and you really break them down. I mean, God has really gifted you in that area. Thank um, you so much. And, and it's very really important, and, and that's why people are attracted to your your ministry. And I know you had some more information about this Monsanto, and I just want I, I, I want God's people to be. I know a lot of people say, "Well, you eat anything poisonous, God will protect you." Listen, you're tempting God if you know it's poison, you keep eating it. But Michelle, can you just touch on what what, what what the Lord has impressed upon you this week? Yes. Um, let's first of all see how it ties into this fake snow. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I showed a friend of mine who is one of the world's foremost authorities in atmospheric science and who works for the government this video on Is This Snow? It was by YouTuber Wake Up Call and uh, inquiring about the artificial snows that were falling all over mm -hmm. North America and Canada. Mm hmm. And I asked him, I said, you know, what is this aerosol polymer compound that's being used? Mm -hmm. and, and why are we using these polymers rather than the ordinary aerosol precipitation nucleations? Like, you know, silver iodide and iron oxide. Mm -hmm. This is the answer he was given. And I quote, the main uses for a, quote, snow, unquote, as it is commonly known, are military. And he was cautioned that uh, open-ended questions on this topic should be strictly avoided. Mm -hmm. This is what my friend was instructed to ensure the public that these military applications of, quote, snow, unquote, are life-saving and truly beneficial. Now, that's what is known as a cover story. Mm -hmm. Someone commented on a follow-up, um, on the follow-up video, this was just one more stab at the military, so I need to stop the world right now and call attention to the fact that I'm an active military and civic supporter because without the military, we as Americans are lost. Mm -hmm. So to everyone who is serving or has ever served in any branch of the U.S. military, I say thank you for freedom. Now having said that, we need to understand that most of these pilots who are following their orders and aerosoling or chemtrailing over the United States, they're told that same cover story, that the contents of these aerosols that are classified top secret, they're not to know what they are, and these military aerosol applications of quote-unquote snow, as well as other aerosols deployed by the military, are life-saving and truly beneficial. 
So these pilots, believing themselves to be heroes, saving the world from itself, mm-hmm. are kept ignorant of the truth. Wow. And at just even as some of their pilot brothers and sisters have perished from what the FAA is terming aerotoxic syndrome, which is an inexplicable new illness that's plaguing pilots and frequent flyers alike. Mm. In my, uh, my follow-up video, I did a microscopic analysis of my own personal samples of this DOD-confirmed, militarily-delivered, artificial polymer, quote-unquote, snow. And what I discovered was absolutely ghastly. Its contents revealed different types of polymers. There were sheets of polymer plastics to encase captive, living, single-celled organisms that were doomed for fusion with synthetic particulates. And it was being used with the sinister aerosol catalyst depleted uranium, which was also, by the way, discovered in these samples. In fact, the actual fusion process, which the DOD is incorporating into its depleted uranium disposal program, that, by the way, is mandated by the UN, it was still happening right in front of all of us on that microscope slide, as seen in that video. Now, what do you get when you fuse a self-replicating, single-celled organism with a polymer fiber-producing nanoparticle? What you get is a self-replicating nano-cyborg that is a 3D polymer printer. There was radioactive barium, which is used as an instrument tracker and holographic backdrop. There was also an unidentified green globular goo, very similar to the military application rain goo that fell in Washington State in 1994. And I showcase that video. It's entitled Mystery Goo Rain Exposed Chemtrail with Anaerobic Bacteria Disease Causing Bacteria. And like that rain goo that fell in Washington, this was presumably biologically hazardous material because the outcome had the same effect. Our town once again became ill, myself included. Along with those green biologicals were desiccated human red blood cells. They were seen not only in their original form, having been renucleated with some sort of engineered disease, Some of the blood cells were in the active process of dividing. They were actually replicating. That indicates that the top secret military frequencies that were being emitted to cause the precipitation also included top secret military frequencies to activate these diseases and the nanoparticles. Now, I believe this is an attempt at plague because we have H1N1 here along with other virulent illnesses, all over our town. Now, let me take you back in time for just a moment. Remember the 1970s when we were regulated to stop using aerosols because of their apparent effect on the ozone layer and the supposed resulting ever-enlarging ozone hole over the Arctic region? Well, in the 80s and 90s, that same friend of mine actually flew in those aircrafts continuing those studies. And they discovered over time that those aerosols are an integral part of the ozone's function. And the seasonal and cyclical opening and closing of the ozone hole was a natural and very necessary function of its global regulation of the sun's healthy solar radiations. They're essential to life on Earth. Now, most people don't know that at that time, aerosol regulations were quietly relaxed as corporations and military organizations secretly, under the nose of the general public, devised the increasingly diabolical aerosol programs we see looming over our heads today. 
And if you remember in the 1970s and 80s, when these harsh warnings of the dangers to the environment of never disintegrating discarded plastics were exposed, the public still, they blindly follow this haunting harbinger of the environmental doomsayers where these plastics are concerned. And yet our government, our Department of Defense, backed by corporations, is raining polymers, which are plastics, down all over our lands, in our waters, in our air, down into our bodies, our plants, our animals, everything. The question is, why? Now, whenever I'm faced with such atrocities, knowing that the love of money is the root of all evil, to find the answer to that question, I merely follow the money. Monsanto, one of the corporations funding these aerosol applications, has patents for these new polymer ingredients in these applications which self-replicate and are attracted magnetodynamically to all flesh, plant life, falling on our waters and on our grounds and are found now in our air. Everything living or inanimate containing these polymers may then legally be taxed by Monsanto for their use, including the use of plants, animals, dirt, water, air, in f- for instance, breathing, remember the, the carbon tax, even people's bodies living, just living on their earth in your bodies with their polymers in your bodies. Where do you think these environmental taxes are going? To the corporate entity that now legally owns them. It's all about control. Control all these things and you control all people. Wow. This is like a, a sci-fi horror, isn't it, Michelle? It really is. It's, it is like something out of a sci-fi novel. <laughs> Oh, God or out of Revelation. Oh, boy. Out of Jesus' mouth when he said, in the last days, if they are not shortened, none would survive. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Right. Wow. One of Satan's main goals is the destruction of mankind and all that God has created on the earth. That's why when Jesus returns, the day that he returns, mm-hmm. he destroys those who were destroying the earth. And the reason that transhumanism plays into it is that same lie that he told in the garden. Do this and you will become as gods. The one thing man cannot do, he thinks, that God can do is create. But if you can create transhumanism or trans any Mm, other kind of, of creature, then you are a creator and therefore you are a god. It's the same lie. Right, 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 yeah. Uh, what would you advise folks today, today, tonight, on the radio listening uh, about what should they, they, they shouldn't be eating this poisonous food, should they? It's hard to get away from, you know. I mean, when your snow burns, catches fire in your hand, what are you going to drink? You know, this, <laughs> first of all, we as believers need to know our power. Our power is the Lord God Almighty, and we have him living in us. We can tear down demonic strongholds, and that's what this is. Mm -hmm. Amen. That is what this is. With our mouths, we can tear these strongholds down by rebuking the enemy, by loosing those ministering spirits and angels, asking the Lord to send his angels Many who are already encamped round about us. That's right. That's right. That's a good word there. Amen. This is Rev. Michelle Hopkins. Thank you for watching, and God bless you.